you might be having some trouble getting your standard deviations into your graph and so I thought I would create some made up data and show you how to do this from your spreadsheet and so remember my data are not anywhere near what the data should actually look like the first thing you're going to need to do is to move these 10 year averages and standard deviations so that they're side by side so I'm going to so I'm going to copy one move it over here and I have to choose paste special and values only or it will try or it will try to do the calculation again so I just have to choose values only now I'm going to choose the second set and I'm going to copy and then paste special values only I'm going to scroll down and get this third set I'm going to say copy I'm going to scroll back up and I'm going to paste special values only this is um, 1978 to 1988 this is 1988 to 1998 and this is 1998 to 2008 and that will um, give us our three 10 year blocks this is the 10 year average right this is the standard deviation we're going to want to write down each of these numbers so just have a piece of paper in front of you and jot down so I'm going to jot down 103 83 84 I'm rounding up and 12 those are my three numbers and I need to remember those now to make the column graph I'm going to choose I'm going to highlight this area go over here to insert choose chart I want a column I want to switch the rows and columns so that I can add error bars to each of these places and so I have to do that I then come over here to customize I change my chart title ice distances distances well I should spell distances 10 year year averages and then I'm gonna scroll down my horizontal axis title is just going to simply be time and then I change this drop down to left vertical to change my left vertical axis and that's dis and that's going to be distance in kilometers okay and then this is the tricky part um, I come down here not only is this the place that I can change the color of the bar so let's say I wanted the first bar to be green all right I've changed that color now I want to add error bars and I want constant error bars and I want to stick into this box the first number I wrote down and for me that was 103 okay that puts the error bars on the first bar then I come up here to the drop down choose the next 10 year maybe I want that bar to be blue so I'm changing the color and then I come down here I say constant and that number was 84 okay so that stays on there then I come up here choose my third bar I don't want that to be yellow I think I want that to be this color red I come down here I choose constant I change my error bars and that number was 12 okay I am then gonna say insert and it's gonna put this chart into my into my spreadsheet and if I come over and click on the chart I can move it to its own sheet and I like to do that and then say and then I can rename it as 10 year averages and then and then I have my 10 year averages okay error bars give us some sense of if the differences between them are actually different and so in my case because my error bars are so drastically overlapping then that would indicate most likely that my that my averages are not significantly different from each other so that's why we add error bars to graphs okay I think that's probably enough